In this video, we go to the center of democracy and unveil some interesting secrets. Welcome to Parliament Square. We want to help you get out the most of your visits to London. So today, we go to the home of democracy. Often when you see news clips about London, you'll see Parliament Square, where protesters and people can go to make their voices heard. Today, we go on a quiet day where the green is empty. The square was originally laid out in 1868 in order to open up space around the Palace of Westminster, also to improve the traffic flow and features London's first traffic signals. As you can see, the buildings around Parliament Square are undergoing construction. And here, the House of Commons and the House of Lords and Big Ben, which is under scaffolding, are due to be completed in their renovations by some point in 2021. If you're spending the day in London as a central point, this is a fantastic place to start. And here you can see in the distance the Shard. Here, we're looking down Whitehall, which is also an excellent walk down past the Cenotaph and the end of Downing Street. Again, world famous for its political connections. The link in the top right corner will take you to our video all about Whitehall. To get here, the nearest underground station is Westminster, which is on the Circle, District and also the Jubilee Lines, making it very easily accessible. You can also get here on Riverboat as well at Westminster Pier. Around the square are 12 statues, and here is the first of them. We'll cover some of these today, but of course, Winston Churchill. Behind Churchill, here you can see David Lloyd George, Prime Minister from 1916 to 1922. This statue is of Millicent Fawcett, campaigner for women's suffrage. She was a leading figure in the campaign for women's suffrage and is also the first women's statue in Parliament Square. Also, other heads of state are here represented, and this in the foreground is Mahatma Gandhi. Here you have in the background Sir Robert Peel, Prime Minister of the UK in the mid-1800s, and here, coming into view in the front, is Nelson Mandela. With a total of 12 statues to go and look at, there's plenty to look at around Parliament Square. You'll have noticed in the video quite a bit of police presence around Parliament Square, and that's because it's illegal to protest here unless you have prior agreement from the Metropolitan Police. So these police are here just to make sure nothing untoward happens, making this an extremely safe place to come. It's incredible to think that this is the centre of history, with Westminster Abbey there, and here looking at the House of Commons and the House of Lords and Big Ben. The one thing that is quite striking though, is how small this area is, as when you see it on the television with protests and people gathering here, it does look extremely big. With so much around, again, this is a great place to start your family visit to London. Lastly, let me share with you this great photo opportunity of classic London telephone boxes. I'm going to leave you with a playlist of other great places outside and also a video of St James's Park that we did, which is only two minutes from here. See you in those.